guys! Thank you for tuning in. I'm Rosie of Rosie's Greenery. I'm a plant tita from Quezon City, Philippines. Welcome to my channel. Please stay home. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. So it's been a while since I did my last Meet My Plant episode. So today I want you guys to meet two of my favorite trailing plants, Philodendron Brazil and my Hartley Philodendron. Disclaimer guys, I'm not a plant expert, I'm just a plant hobbyist, so I'm just describing them to you based on my experience in taking care of them. So philodendrons are basically one of the easiest house plants to take care for and are low maintenance plants. They are forgiving, can tolerate different conditions like low light, inconsistent watering, and even low nutrient medium or soil. Now both plants, they are very similar in terms of uh, features and how they look like. Both plants have heart-shaped leaves with green color and the only difference they have is the Brazil has this bright yellow green color at the center while the heart leaf has only this plain green color. So I bought these two plants last August and they have grown so much. This Brazil, gito na siya kaliit last time. Pero ngayon, look, ang haba na niya. And actually, mas mahaba pa nga to dapat kasi trinopagi ko lang siya. So naputol na siya. And itong heart leaf, ito sobrang haba na nito. Kinalat ko na lang siya sa table. So when I try to lay down her on the floor, she's like taller than me, almost uh, six feet long. So how do I care for them? As I've said earlier, both of them, uh, they can tolerate different conditions from low to medium to bright light. Just not direct sunlight from 10 a.m. onwards or 9 a.m. onwards, especially this summer season. Kasi mabilis mag-burn ang foliage nila kapag direct sunlight. Well, both plants, uh, they've already experienced uh, burns from direct sunlight. And the direct sun that they've been exposed to was not even the afternoon sun. I think that was around 11 a.m. And I found a few leaves that turned brown and soft because of the heat. For this Brazil, I actually keep this one indoors in our bedroom that gets low to medium light. She's a few feet away from our balcony glass door that is south facing window that gets hot afternoon sunlight. I actually have her indoors for about a week then I'll put her outside for a day or two um, just to reward her that light she needs. Lalo na kapag cloudy or hindi maaraw. For this heart leaf philodendron, um, actually hindi na pala heart leaf to, may kasama siyang Brazil. So um, anyways, pero yung pinakamahaba niya is yung heart leaf philodendron. So anyways, this plant, um, she has been in our shaded roof deck for a long time. And then after I repotted her a couple of weeks ago, I started putting her inside in our bedroom. So she gets low to medium light in our bedroom. And she's been in our bedroom for almost two weeks now after I repotted her. And so far, she's doing well. She hasn't uh, given me any yellow leaf or so. So yeah, um, actually, palitan niya yung skin dapsus rictus ko. Whenever the skin dapsus is outside, she's inside. So ayun, palitan lang sila para hindi ako nawawalan ng plant sa bedroom namin. In terms of watering, well, for my Brazil, uh, since I have her most of the time indoors, I only give her full bath once a week. Uh, yun yung tipong uh, magilik yung water at the bottom part. But when I have her outdoors in our shaded roof deck, like for a week or so, I water her twice a week. But yung pangalawang watering niya is konti lang just to give her enough moisture to make up for the heat that she's getting in our shaded roof deck. 
For example, starting Sunday, nasa labas lang siya. Sunday, I'll give her a full bath. And then, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, inimist ko siya at saka I'll give her enough water just to moisten the soil. You know, just to give her enough humidity that she needs. Same thing for this other guy since I already have this one indoors. So far, I've done once a week watering to her. But when she's outside, I give her another half bath in the middle of the week just to make up for the heat that she's getting upstairs. And because of the constant low humidity these days, I make sure that I mist their leaves every day. Lalo na sa bedroom namin, very dry doon. So they really appreciate a lot of misting. So technically for both of these plants, allow the top inch soil to dry out between waterings. If you're not sure how to tell if you need to water them or not, just use your finger. Ayan, tusok nyo lang sa soil and then try to fill it if it's moist or hindi na, then you know, you could tell whether it's already too dry or not. I would advise you not to water them kapag nakita mo yung topsoil na moist pa. Kasi uh, they'll get yellow leaves or droopy leaves when they're always in a wet, soggy soil. By the way, when you find uh, these plants in uh, local nurseries like uh, Quezon City Memorial Circle, you'll always find them in a hanging basket. This plant, uh, she used to be in a hanging basket and since she was in our shaded roof deck that gets a lot of bright indirect sun, I used to water this one every two days since konti lang yung soil niya and mabilis siya mag dry out since she gets a lot of strong wind upstairs. So FYI, plants in hanging baskets with less soil, they dry up pretty fast whenever you have them outdoors. For their medium, well, both of them are in a regular potting mix or loam soil with perlite. They need to be in a loose, well-draining soil. But I have read that they can also do well in sphagnum moss. Let me know, comment below if you have these plants in another medium or so. For fertilizers, well, I've read that you could use a, a well-balanced fertilizer for this, like 10-10-10. But since I only have Osmocote available, I give them half scoop. Kasi sobrang taas ng nitrogen ng Osmocote ko, like 18. So I give them half scoop uh, every two months or so. Philodendrons in general are toxic when ingested, so better keep your pets away from chewing these babies. In terms of propagation, well, they are one of the easiest houseplants to propagate. All you have to do is just find the node. The node is just easy to spot. Basically, ito yung part kung sa tumutubo yung leaf. And then you'll see there that there's already aerial roots. So all you have to do is just cut a few cm under the node and you could either put it directly in water or directly to soil. Now when you're propagating, make sure that you keep them in a bright indirect light and when you have them in soil, make sure that you keep them moist for the next few weeks as you're still training the cutting to drink on her own. I've never had any problems with this plant except yung nagburn lang yung foliage nila. In terms of bugs or pests, well, I've never had any issues with them as well. Hindi uh, sila dinikitan ever na mili bugs. So yeah, overall, I would recommend these plants, these babies, if you're a beginner since they are just really easy to grow and as I've said earlier, they can tolerate different conditions of lighting, inconsistent watering, or low nutrient soil. So yeah, get one yours plus hindi pa sila expensive. Uh, especially this one. I got this one, uh, Brazil and Heartleaf together. 
uh, in a hanging basket. Uh, she was just 60 pesos in wow. Quezon City Memorial Circle. Uh, that was last year, so I'm not sure kung ganun pa rin ang presyo niya ngayon. So yeah, that's all I have to share about this plant. I hope you find this video very helpful. If you have questions about these plants, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Leave a comment below for other tips as I also love learning from you guys. So if you like this video, please hit on like. You could also share this and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you'll know once I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye yours!